Arlene Sports back with another video. Just someone playing Survive. So VR game that just came out right before Christmas. Here's a little trailer for it. So in a little over a month, uh, PlayStation VR 2 is coming out, so I'm not sure why they dropped this now, maybe because they already had it ported or whatever, but uh, bought it, figured I'd check it out, it was 25 bucks, so. This is an all-frequency message. My name is Jeremy Stanford. I'm a biochemical military researcher, and I'm working on a vaccine against a mutated C. Dorna virus, commonly known as B1B3. Oh, God. Thanks for replying. I wasn't expecting that anymore, but I sure was hoping somebody was out there. My name is Jeremy Stanford, and I'm a biochemical military researcher. Pleased to meet you. Fuck! From what I see, your signal comes from Santa Carla? You're well in the middle of a fucking hell. So the graphics don't quite look as good as a trailer, and like I said, this is just a regular PS4, it's so not a... PS4 Pro, so it's not 4K, and then it doesn't record in 4K either. I have it just recording through the PlayStation. It's uh, 720p. But uh, it's uh, still impressive for two people that uh, created this game, so give them props for that. So this is still early in the game, and um, they're kind of like holding your hand a little bit as far as uh, the zombies coming at you. And it's me still getting used to the control because, you know, the PlayStation uh, VR1 doesn't have the analog sticks to move around, so you have to use the buttons. Just sometimes a little goofy. So take one of those zombie stew cans and pour that shit all over you. In order to blend in among them and, and go around, they won't notice you that. Watch out, though. Remember to turn off your weapon lights. Try not to make any noise, or they'll spot you. So that's a pretty cool feature. You, you can pour the stuff on you and blend in, kind of like Walking Dead. Then also, they I guess they're attracted to flashlights as well, so you have to turn off your flashlights when you're walking past them, trying to blend in. Something more powerful than a gun. Take that rifle, load the shot in the barrel, and get ready to blow a lot of heads up. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you can also dual wheel rifles, so I think this is supposed to be like the M4. I'm not sure exactly. But, um, yeah, you can go dual wheel with it. Little akimbo style. Almost all weapons have a switch for changing fire mode between single shot or burst. Sometimes precision will be needed. Other times you'll have to use all your firepower.
that you got your selection here. So this is like the home base area or armory. I'm not sure exactly, but they give you access to all these weapons right off the bat. So you can pick up a sniper rifle or AK and you can use it in the field. But in order to get like the scopes and the suppressors and, and laser sights, you have to find certain magazines that teaches you how to upgrade the weapon with that. So. To mount them, you need to learn first how to do it. Around the city, you'll find some magazines about weapons. I'll show you with the white circle on the map where to find them. So this is what those magazines look like. Then I'm just going to play around for a couple of these guns just to see which one I want to take out with me. Just in case I get out in the wild. so many of them already. Okay, you are almost to the gas station. Look for some full tanks, grab one, take it back to the garrison. Uh-oh. <laughs> These guys are faster than I thought. Fumbling. Yeah, I'm not sure how I died here. I had no, like no notification that I was getting chomped on, so. Oh well. And then uh, when I loaded back in, I had lost my weapons. But I was in a safe room and they had a couple weapons there. They had this bat and then the other bat from uh, Walking Dead, the Lucille one. So I ended up using those. And then I had like a pistol on me. And when you swing with one hand, you don't generate enough force. So you have to really hold it with two hands. So I gotta pick that back wow. up and uh, get out of here. Great! You did it! Fuck it! You're better than I thought! Now go to the back and put the tank next to the generator. Excellent job. Your first mission is gone. This is just the beginning. Now, go get some rest. And, thanks for helping me out. I'll talk to you soon. Not bad for a low-budget game created by two people. It's got pretty good features in here, so definitely play this some more. Hopefully, they'll put it on PSVR too.